Hello, my name is Hector, and welcome back to the Hypermind Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved server, Mouthful. Hope you're all having a grand old day, so um, we did this last episode, uh, and I've augmented it ever so slightly, just put a chest and some stuff, and I have actually used it. I used it to make this little Enderium hatchet. Um, and uh, I, uh, yeah, I put on magical wood uh, tool rod uh, and then enderium for that. Uh, put moss on it, and it's uh, it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Um, so what I did, um, let's yeah, let's go over here first. Is I got rid of some trees here, and as you can see, I've built another kind of thing. And yeah, stuff has changed. So let me talk you through it. Oh, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? I hope so. Awfully rude of me. Um, I became very British then. Um, I don't know why. Um, so I removed the roof here. People kind of said, you know, it's a little bit pointy, actor. A little bit pointy. And I was like, yeah, it is a little. So it kind of half had burnt down anyway because of the blaze. Uh, and I was building another one. Now, the reason, the reason that this, all this is covered with dirt is because I've learned... I've learned, uh, and this is the witch spawner from our old pad. You can, or I can just about see a witch there. You might not be able to, um, but there is a witch in there right now. And what happens is that carpenter's blocks basically don't stop light from going in. Um, simple, the simple truth there. Um, so that is a bit of a bummer. That is a bit of a shame. So. So I, I I just tested it with dirt. I just kind of you know thought oh maybe maybe that is it, and lo and behold it was. Oh I'm getting glowstone kind of coming towards me. Have I got it? No I don't know. Um so that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. So we're gonna do something about that kind of today. And partly what we're gonna do. I saw uh, Soap the Great's recent video, and he had one of these little doodars. There's a little imp lives just there look at him uh oh it's a hobgoblin and he, he makes witch noises but what i have here where is he there's the squid so i have a squid in here with a uh a rancher kind of hooked up to my system at uh, my wireless terminal uh, which I made for myself earlier today and i've got almost 700 then that's just from earlier today i kind of set that up and uh, let it running for a little bit and you can see yeah it's it's going all right there's only one squid i don't need that much and that's because we're going to make some um some glass that's what uh soap did and it works really well so if you want to see him do that i suggest go checking out his latest video i won't go through it because he's just done it so there's no point go check his video um so what are we doing today well and um, i've marked out some space here and i want to put a uh, grinder here for um, a cursed earth mob farm because I want some general kind of mob stuff and I know I could you know I could improve these spawners and maybe I will at some point ooh hat 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 but I kind of don't think I need to really I just I don't think you know I need to so if we go in here I've also done some stuff in here I've been busy I've been busy kind of doesn't look like it and yeah you can see all of this stuff has gone and that's because I made a new ender quarry in the deep dark and I made it massive because it finished it so I made it massive uh, and I I just thought let's just dump everything straight into here because we're going to be moving soon um, people we're this this place is kind of getting too small for us um, I made another ME drive and I, I've started making 64k drives and as you can see these four are pretty much empty and I think some of these 16k ones yeah so at least three are pretty empty and if you can see now in the crafting go to the crafting I can I can auto craft these which is a thing of beauty oh and also what I do need to do I almost almost forgot because I did this a while ago look at how many um, I still have now uh, and in fact what I need to do is I need to make three of these which I do believe I have just enough of uh, I need to make let's just make quickly one of those yeah, yeah do it do it do it do it 
Uh, I need to make one of these. Can I? Can I? Boom. Yeah, okay, good. Now I need to make one of these. Yeah, because, because, because. Um, let's just dump that in there for now. Let's dump you in there for now. I've almost forgotten because I, I kind of had, I've had these for like um, a few days now and I, I wanted to do it on screen with you guys. Let's do that one, two, three, four, five. Come to me. There we go. So, this means, of course, that we can now make the next tier advanced. Boom. Oh, yes. So, that is... 4,096 RF per tick, so we are one tier off the ultimate, which is the uh, the highest tier that you can get. Bam! Power levels critical, yeah, lovely stuff. So, oh yes, that's going hard. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot of RF, so that's quite excellent. We're going to have to make more capacitor banks, but that's cool. That is cool. So that is, um, that is all done. So, I might... Uh, I'll, I'm going to make the grinder and stuff off screen and then I will meet you back here and we're going to build this kind of grinder thing together I think. I don't really know what form it's going to take but uh, that that is that is going to happen so I'll see you in a bit. Hello, hello, we are back, we are back. Um, so I've done a little bit of stuff. I made myself a builder's wand as well which is long overdue. So this right here is where the cursed earth will be um so uh let's oh, oh okay let's do that um i believe we have that like this don't we is that on that one yeah on the second one up okay let's do that then the middle is here Yes, yes it is. Okay. So, this needs to be powered, of course. Uh, you need to spit out stuff. We'll do that there. Power can go here. Set that to mine. And then this is receiving, so this should be working. Yes. Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, so what we also need to do is set up um, a kind of tank system. Huh. It's going to be a bit ugly around here, which is a bit of a shame. Um, This is for the mob essence. Let's just do this. It's a bit crazy. And I might at some point, I'll probably, well, I, I'll definitely do something a little bit better than that. Um, This is for the mob essence to come out. Now, I'm not really sure how much that would take. So at some point, we might have to make a massive tank or just void the essence. Because I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, if anything, yet. Haven't quite decided that. So, back to this. This is two, three, no, wait, we're on four now. Four, five, six, seven. I believe that's as high as it goes. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, is that correct? Yes, that looks correct. And then on these bits, we have this. Uh, and I've been thinking about my um, plans for the base, and I've kind of changed them. I've changed them. Is that correct? I can't talk and count. Um, so my original plan was to have just like a kind of villagey thing going on in the woods, which sounded great and would still, you know, it still would work. But the thing about that is um, that's really quite irritating is... Um, 
Is that right? Is that correct? That looks, yeah. Um, is, do I need more wood? I need more wood. Where's, where's the doohickey? Where is it? Yes. Let's get two. That's great. And I need to extend the range of my wireless terminal, and I will at some point. But um, what I was saying, yeah, it, it that could still work. But I just feel that with all the kind of kind of tech stuff we have, if I spread that about into like a building each, that is just going to be annoying. It's just going to be annoying. So I need a kind of bigger space for just like a place for all the kind of main machines, and then stuff like you know the Tinker's thing that can stay there and. Um, well, that's about it, really. That, I think that's all that would stay. Oh, obviously, these would, would remain here, and would kind of do a better, a better design for them. Would finish off the roof, because uh, I'm not going to leave the roofs like that. Obviously, that would be heinous. Um, dang it! But I have, I have got a new idea for a kind of base type thing. Uh, is that the thing? That is the thing, okay. So, let's do that. You there, you there. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, need, where's the builders want? Okay, I'm not sure how much glass this is gonna take. I did no kind of calculations because that's crazy talk. Um, let's just do a bit of this on every single one. Okay, so, and I, I will show you in a bit what I have. Ooh, ah, ah, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a bind, isn't it, now? Oh, what I need to do as well, I've just realised. Can I, can I get in there? Oh, the grinder does, ah, I was going to upgrade the grinder, but it doesn't. So actually, I've built this way too big. Um, because the grinder only does, um, I think, a 5 by 4 bit. So maybe what I could do... Because huh, this is 9 by 9. Dang it. Uh, let's see. One, oh, come on. One, two, three, four... Five, I think that would be it, wouldn't it? Three, four, five. Yeah, so it would be this bit here. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. I don't mind. And um, what we can do then, actually, instead, is do that. Dang it. Wrong way around. Have we got the... Yep. Yeah. Can I? Can I wrench it? Can I wrench it? No, not with this one. Ugh, modded, 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 modded. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. Where are we? Where are we? There. Okay, so. That gives us a bit more space here. Like that. This, um, hmm. Not sure how to do this now. This has kind of put a little. What we can do is. Can finish that. Yes. Look at me trying to be all clever. I should never try to be clever. Dang it! Ugh. See? Trying to be clever using a builder's wand. It all goes wrong. There we go. Okay. Um, let's put this on at the front. Oh, we saw which die then. That's nice. Um, mainly, I kind of. Did I no? Um, I kind of need that for glowstone. That's what. I, that's what it's there for. Because the the quarry gets redstone. Like you know, that's the only other thing that I'd be really bothered about. Sticks. Got a lot of sticks now. Um, that's fine. So, 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 so. Ah, we have, we have some left here. Let's, 
Let's finish this and then see. Oh, dang it! Dang it! If I do that. Okay, so. So, I now have a section of this that basically doesn't. Ah, oh, maybe. Oh, okay. I'm going to go think about this off camera because I don't know what I'm doing now. This is, it's put a little spanner in the old works, but what kind of Infinity Evolved episode would it be if something didn't go wrong for me? So there you go, it's happened. Hopefully this is the only thing. I'll see you in a sec. Right, I am back uh, and I've kind of, I've decided on this and I quite like it actually. Um, I tried keeping the outer shell intact like that and making that like an inner cage type thing, but um, I kind of settled on this and I think I'm actually going to mirror that design on there as well. So it's just a little bit more, you know, with that. And then I've put this under the roof and you know what? I quite like it. I quite like it and it's because like with these things I was kind of trying to make them like little houses you know as part of a village which is was my plan to you know make a little villagey type of thing but I just because we're now using this glass I just don't think that works as a little house but like that it kind of works as a tank I think uh, so that's my thinking so that's what we're going to do so now uh, the scary bit, at least for me. I I always hate this bit. So I'm just going to put that there like that. Um, boom, boom, boom. And then bam. And that should kind of work now. Let's put this back here. And let's hopefully see. But mobs should start appearing as far as I'm aware. The only thing I don't know is if that Tesseract um, lets light in. But actually, what we could do uh, is put that there. Ah, ha ha. Can we still get that in? Yes, yes. So that was letting light in, but now that looks very dark. But nothing is spawning. Ah, there we have it. Yes, so that is working. Oh, that's great. It's worked. It's worked. <laughs> Something on modded has worked for me. Ooh, is that a slime? Ah, now, this might be, just as I said that, this might be an issue because I'm sure I just read that it, the grinder won't affect slimes. Oh, no, it has. <gasps> Oh, I'm saved. I'm saved. Okay, so that is working. That is going well. Let's have a look at uh, what we have in here. In here. Um, so, I don't know what bones. Bone. Not, not. So, that's, I think that's definitely gone up. Um, we should be getting rotten flesh as well, obviously. I don't know what we can do with rotten flesh in this mod pack. Yeah, 63. Um, let's have a quick look. Nope, wrong button. Wrong button. There it is. Uses. Nope. Come on. What can we do with this? Oh, what's that? Oh, just a spawner. Oh, an RF tool spawner. Witchery. A block of flesh. Lovely. A zombie syringe, magic bee stuff, and a dimlet. So not very much there that we might have to avoid that eventually, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. But um, that is, I'm really glad that is working. Um, and we are going to, I'm going to let the ink build up again uh, from our little fella over there. And then I'm going to replace all the dirt and wood in these things with the dark clear glass which actually I really like I think it's better than the um, dare I say it it's better than the dark glass from extra utilities I love that mod but I, I really like the fact that you can kind of see in yeah that's looking cool nice um, so that's working that is great now before I leave I wanted to talk to you about the plans as you can see there's this here 
and I was kind of thinking about a lot of stuff uh, and one idea was a little bit too similar to what I'm going to do on Hypermind Vanilla so I didn't want to do that but I've been looking at, at the shapes and I think I've decided I've decided on making like a, a treetop base so we can see all the trees and all like all the stuff that all the havoc that I've wrecked with the uh, the tree farm but I think we're gonna go for this uh, and what it is and I've never built like this so that's quite I quite like that and uh, this is an octagon which means we immediately have a name for the base now uh, we can just go hey uh, guys guys does anyone want to come back to mine um, I'm just gonna go back to the octagon and um, so see it works you can use it in a sentence it totally works and um, so I think I, I think I quite like that and what I was thinking is having like a massive disc like this and then having a smaller kind of area inside where the actual base is having big kind of support kind of structure bits down here um I think I'm not sure yet uh and and yeah I think I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna work I really like that I've never built like that I've never built in this shape before so that's quite exciting so I think I think we're gonna leave it there so that's a little plan for the future. I don't know if we're going to get to that next episode. Maybe we will. I'm not sure yet. Okay, a uh, little addendum. As you can tell, uh, things have changed around here. Uh, and that's because an hour after finishing this or so, I was doing something in the nether. Uh, I don't know why I looked up there. That's not what the nether is. Um, oh, technically down there. Um, and uh, I came back to see uh, some of this was on fire. Uh, it was on fire, and that's because what had happened is the cursed earth had managed to spread to just below. It was only one block below, uh, and then the light had hit it, and it had set on fire, and the fire had spread basically all over. So I had to rush to put it out, um, and I dug down a bit so that it doesn't spread anymore. I kept a good watch just in case, and and it kind of calmed down. So. I, you know, I got to that and then I, I changed the roof, uh, put some dark clear glass on instead of the kind of oak wood pattern that we had. And then, then I, I, I read somewhere that if you put the spawners on Cursed Earth, it forces um, the spawns uh, when the player isn't around or um, at least when he's just online. Um, so I could be over at the base and... You know, as long as this is kind of loaded and in render distance, um, it would work. So I kind of took out the spawners from these two and put them in here. And because I know um, from a, a spawner, the, the kind of spawning radius is 9 by 9 And the grinder only works like 5 by 5 So I added two layers of quite clear glass on top of the dark glass in, in there. And it just... that it. It still looks right. It still it, it still looks cool. I think, and um, I think it really works. And I added a new outer frame to kind of match these, and and it's working nicely now. It is. It's so these two things can go, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take them down. But uh, I just thought you know we should add this, and uh, so it's working really well now. This is it's going it's going really well. So it's wor it is working. So we had another little Ecta modded failure then followed by a success so i'm i'm okay with that so there you go so i'm gonna end the episode now so thank you very much for watching if you did like this episode feel free to leave a like or comment it's always very much appreciated i've been Hector. this has been a cursed earth mob spawner with lots of trials and tribulations and i'll see you next time Bye bye